Karen, I have to uh, first of all congratulate you for doing a wonderful job on this film. I was at the premiere and I'm very proud and you are a true epitome of the saying that behind every great man there's a great woman. And obviously you are his inspiration and I thank you for that. My question is for Amir. At the premiere you said something very beautiful about your wife and you said that the reason, or during the, the filming of this movie, you fell in love with her all over again, and that touched me. And I wanted to know what exactly, was it her creative genius, what made you fall in love with her all over again? <laughs> yeah, I actually, I fell in love with Kiran for, for the kind of person she is, and, and her energy, and her, you know, her personality, and, and so many things about her. Uh, but when she told me that she was writing a script, I was very nervous <laughs> because I was, you know, I was thinking that on these days the script is going to get complete and she's going to come to me with it and I'll have to read it and what if I don't like it? <laughs> you know, I, it, it won't it'd be a very comfortable situation. And I also feel, I mean, being a creative person myself, I know how, how, you know, how emotional it is for a person to write your first film. So I was feeling bad that what if I don't like it? I was just stressed about that. What if I don't like it? How, you know, Kiran would feel bad and I was, you know, just trying to uh, <laughs> struggle with that. So in my head I was thinking, you know, I hope she doesn't complete the script. <laughs> which is a very, which is a very, uh, not a very nice thought. Uh, but, what, but she did finally complete the script. And she said, now I'm ready, I'm, I want you to read it. And I said, you know, I'd like to hear it because I like to listen to scripts. So I want you to read it out to me and let's go to Kunur. Uh, my cousin Mansoor lives there, was a filmmaker who's become a bit of a hermit right now. <laughs> Stepped away from filmmaking last decade or so. Uh, so I said, let's go to Kunur and Mansoor and I will hear it together. Hoping that, you know, in case I don't like it and then, you know, maybe Mansoor doesn't like it as well and then, you know, at least I'll have numbers on my side. <laughs> uh, so I was really quite terrified, really honestly. And when, when she began the narration in Kunur, Mansoor and I were sitting and listening to it and Mansoor's wife Tina was there. And when she began narrating it, uh, you know, I, I, I just was so fascinated by what she had written. I, it was completely unexpected. I think um, it's one of the best scripts that I've read. Uh, it's so delicate and beautiful. Uh, the characters are so well written, the lines are so well written. And each line that she's written for each character is so, I mean, her characters speak in, in such a different and unique voice and all of that hit me and I was like, wow, I married to a really talented woman, yeah? <laughs> 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 I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't know about that, you know, when I fell in love with the first time, I didn't know how really talented she was. I, I didn't know because it was like behind this curtain while she was working on it. And so when I read the script, I was like, you know, I was really amazed. And uh, so that's, that's what I meant when I said that I fell in love with her all over again because, you know, I you know, thought she was really talented and I feel that uh, after having worked with her as an actor, I find that even not only as a writer but even as a director, she's hugely talented. I think she's, uh, you know, I think like all of the actors here, uh, she is another very, very important addition, I think, to the creative talent in India and to Indian cinema. Uh, so I'm really proud of her and, and what she's done. Beautiful. Wow. So sweet. One, one last.